and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another drunken game. We're going to be doing more trivia today, but we're going to be doing one of my favorite games growing up. Limanity, who is far too nice to me, was nice enough to get this for me. This is You Don't Know Jack, Volume 1 XL. Show. Why don't you tell me how many people are going to be playing this there game? There will just be okay. the one of me. I mean, this I game is it. hilarious. So much that I'm... How many people are playing just here? me, damn it. Hey, you're a single player, is that right? All right, could you give me your name, please? No. Never give him your name. This game is funny so much that I'm going to be... That I'm going to be quiet for a majority of this. Never give him your name. I am now mucus membrane. Oh, yeah. Are you looking for a seven question tournament length game or a full 21 question deal? Oh, we're going all out here. Thanks, Jones. I can dig that. 30 seconds. Your buzzer is the letter B on your keyboard. Yeah, I understand. It's a basic trivia game, really. You buzz in. You, you guess right. You get money. You guess wrong. You lose money. Okay. I will. If you know the answer to a question, buzz in, then you gotta hit the number that corresponds to the answer you want. You got that? Ten seconds. Good luck to ya. Okay, let's get rid of the desktop. Q graphics. Okay, thank you. Let's go to black. How the hell did this okay, people, let's get cancelled but Jeopardy still goes on? That's what I want to know. Oh yeah, th this is definitely true. This game is different from most other trivia games. You don't know Jack! Because they don't say it too much personally. Woo! Alright! Welcome to the program! Okay, you ready to fly? I'm Time trying. Blast off. Mucus Membrane will own you. Okay, pick a category. I get to pick a category, and I'm gonna go for Uranus. It's one. Next up, look, there's Uranus. And we are talking 1,000 bucks for this question. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. What is a black hole? A Seriously? Term for all Disney movies from the 70s? Yes. Is a planet, a hole in space that has no gravity, or a collapsed star that only emits x-rays? Seriously? But it's all yours. None of the others are even close. Collapsed stars so dense that only x-rays can escape their pull. Well, I guess the third one's kind of close, but really it's number one. How about it? Hit me with a category. Time travel in Dade. The name of this category is Sports Cars and Time Travel. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. If you were hit by a speeding Corvette before 1953, you were probably where? Swimming in the ocean, biking in France, walking in a jungle in South America, or in a spaceship? Oh, a Corvette is a, is a ship. Oh, go for it. You were in the ocean. Count it. Boom. Two for two. Come in. Before it was considered a hot babe mobile, a Corvette was a WW2 Allied warship. I didn't know, I didn't know it was WW2 though. You need a category. Uh, there are so many old references in this one. We're gonna go with pickups. All right, let's see what we're doing here. A picture's worth a thousand pickups. The amount on the table is three grand. Ooh, that's Hang a tough on one. tight, because here we go. If the book The Picture of Dorian Gray were a country and western song, what might it appropriately be called? You left me hanging on a wall waiting. You're the reason I started drinking again. Why'd you look so good when I feel so old? Or if your boat's docked, can I board? Oh, shit. I, I wish I read this book, but I know I already know the spoiler for it, so sure, it's number three. Why do you look good when I feel so old? Dorian Gray, he's a guy who stays young looking while a painting of himself looks older and older. Spoilers? Come on, man! Okay, pick a category. Oh, how can I turn this down? 
The oh, category so. behind this question is, where's a male porn star when you need one? Oh, I'm so paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. All right, imagine you're lost in the Sahara Desert. Okay. Luckily, you have your famous male porn star compass to guide you. Which of these men is not a famous porn star and therefore could not be a point on your compass? Randy West, Jack South, Nick East, or Peter North? Shit, what? Fuck it, none of the rest are funny. Go for it. Here's a little spending money. Oh, crap. And let's see the correct answer. Jack South. That totally Fuck works as... Jack any direction you want, just don't do it into the wind. <laughs> that totally works as a porn name, though. How is the other one a real category. porn name? Oh, yeah, no, we're going to floppers. Question five. The category. If grandma was a flapper, what did grandpa do? Pop a right answer for this one, you got 3,000 greenbacks. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. Okay, if you forget about the stock market crash, the Great Depression, and the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, 1929 wasn't all bad. In 1929, you could still do all of the following, except buy toothpaste fortified with radiation, join the first U.S. nudist colony, attend the first Academy Awards ceremony, or buy a soft drink laced with lithium. Shit. Okay, I know number three is true. You could that was the first one. Um, it's gotta That's be number yours. one, right? You can't you can't do radiation in nineteen twenty nine. It whitens, it brightens, and it glows. Yeah. Radiated toothpaste was not a common consumer product in 1929, but Damn right. think of it, having your teeth fall out of your head is a good way to prevent cavities. I will not get a cavity if I don't have okay, teeth. Okay, pick a category. This, I should go pluck them out tomorrow. Number six, it's number six, it's. This one's gonna be the sky is falling. Run for your lives. Ow. Okay, shouldn't be too tough. This question's gonna be worth a grand. This now we all know the story of Chicken Little and how he freaked out and thought the sky was falling around him. In July of 1979, citizens of the planet Earth, especially our friends in Australia, ran from large chunks of metal falling from the sky. What was the source of those chunks? The moon, airplane, bathroom, Skylab, or the space shuttle? Wasn't that Skylab? Was it Skylab that fell? Skylab, the first U.S. manned space laboratory. Damn right it fell. I guess that was NASA's way of throwing another shrimp on the bobby. Really? All right, that was dated when this game category. came out. Really? Uh-oh. Test nut slick crime store. Fuck. I hate it's this. I hate this. This is a rhyming thing. Oh, I can't right, do this drunk. Category for this gibberish question. Which soap do you think has the best flavor? Opening value on this gibberish question, 5,000 bucks. Irish Spring. Okay, to solve this puzzle, you gotta think fast because every second and a half, I'm ticking off a little bit of cash. Okay, you set? Tell me, what colloquialism does this rhyme with? To screw Chris, core other with Bat South. Now don't be fooled by the punctuation. With that mouth? Hit one, it's a retort. Oh! Oh, shit! Go for it. Type in your answer and hit return. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> Boom! Done! Not totally kick ass up. Hey, nice language. To screw Chris Core other with Bat South? This mouth? No, I use the vestigial one in my left armpit. That is gross. I didn't get that much okay, money from it, but I'm happy that I just got it. Let's stay on the same subject. The category is... I wouldn't kiss a dog with that mouth. And it looks like you can win a thousand greenbacks for this one. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. If you were walking your dog in Cleveland, it would go... Bow wow. Or... Woof, woof. In Kiev, it would go... Gub, gub. And in Munich... Wow wow. What about in Beijing? Wang wang. Gum yum. Gum gum. Wang chong. I... I have no idea how a dog sounds in China. Is it gum gum? Should have picked this. <laughs> Wong Wong, and if you're not careful, it might go Wong Wong all over your shoe. That sounds gross. How about it? Hit me with a category. Let's say I have bowel problems. Ooh, ooh, what's your sign? It's number nine. The name of this category is bowel problems. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. 
Which is longest? The My average dick. small intestine, the average large intestine, two meters, or half a biblical rod? Shit. God. Uh, okay, it's one of the intestines. It's all yours. I want to say the small intestine is longer. It's the small intestine. Yeah. At an average of 21 feet, it's a good thing it's curled up. 21 feet? That does right, that falls we we well short of all the legends that I've heard. I've not taken a good anatomy class. You you pick it for me, I don't know. I know dead people who move faster than you. <laughs> Next up, I got your fairy tale right here. And this one's gonna be worth one thousand dollars. Okay, get yourself set, it's time. Hey, what actually happens at the end of Aesop's fable, The Boy Who Cried Wolf? A wolf eats the boy's sheep, the boy becomes friends with a wolf, a wolf eats the boy, or the townspeople slice off the boy's tongue. Doesn't, doesn't the wolf eat the boy? Go for it. Whoa. Whoa. No, apparently not. I always thought Here's that was how it ended. should have guessed. A wolf eats the sheep. Oh. That's okay, lame. We're at the end of round one, now on to round two. My ending was better. Now we are one round away from the jack attack, and all the questions in this oh, round are going to be worth more than a round one. So pay attention and let's do it. All right, round two. Okay, pick a category. Let's go with ge geography. I know and now, countries. Let's... Here's oh, the category, double geography. And if you can figure this one out, I can pay you 4,000 bucks. Okay, you ready? Double your pleasure with this question. Which of these are there actually two of? North Pole, international date lines, equators, or prime meridians? There's two North Poles. It's all yours. There's a magnetic and a, like a geographic. Not one, but two North Poles. Damn right. That's right, there's the geographic pole at the top of the Earth, and the magnetic pole, that's what directs your compass. And it moves. It's in Canada, How about damn it? near Hit all me with the, the time. Category. How can I pass up Scooby-Doo? Well, 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 let's delve into question 12. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Scooby-Doo and vitamins. This question's going to be worth $2,001 bills. Okay, listen carefully. I want 20, Let's say the it. popular cartoon star in Scooby-Doo introduces a new character, a cousin of Scooby's with a vitamin C deficiency. Ew. All right, tell me, what's the best name for this new character with the vitamin C deficiency? Scummy-Doo, Rickety-Doo, Deficiency-Doo, or Scurvy-Doo? Go for it. Arrgh, matey. Scurvy do. And if he cures himself the way British sailors did, he'll be lime do. Limey do. do. Ah, that joke wrote itself. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. The category. There's no such thing as a dumb question. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. That sounds Flight like a dumb minutes, question. Prepare for takeoff. How many strings are on a 12-string guitar? Half a score, the square root of a gross, a ream, or six? Really? I think it's, it's I think it's six. A gross is 144, the square root of that is 12. 200, 200 is a ream, I think. The square root of a gross. Now, some people think of that as a gnarly. No, gnarly not is, is not. Whatever. Ow, my head hurts. Uh oh, mess butt tit slime chore. Oh, fuck. Once again, it's time for a Tinker Lake test room. Stay away from my test rooms. Here's your gibberish category. Never enter a business deal with a pig. We're in round two, so this gibberish question is going to start off at $10,000. I'm going to fail uh, you're this. You're going to have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'm going to be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. All right, put your fingers on your buzzers. What retort does this rhyme with? That sleazy boar fused to pay. No, no. I, I First got clue, it's for people who give advice. I got nothing here. For people who give advice on matters they don't understand. Apparently this puzzle's a matter you don't understand. No, I am so lost here. Come on, it's easy. Just say it. And say it quickly. I... What? I'm so lost here. To I want you to march right out to that barn and tell that pig to give you the money. Oh, sure, honey. That sleazy poor refused to pay. That's easy for you to say. 
Yeah, getting the money might be tough. I hear that pig's got a good lawyer. Yeah, I I could not get that. I'm terrible at these. Okay, beans. pick a category. When I'm drunk. H- how can I? I need to hear him say it. How many rhymes for teen this can you come up be? with? Zoiks for sooth. I'll pay you four thousand dollar bills for this one if you get it right. That didn't okay, sound so coming bad. Coming at you, heads up. Which of the following is not true about both Hamlet and Scooby Doo? They both spent a lot of time in castles. They both knew someone named Daphne. They both saw ghosts, or they were both great Danes. Was there a Daphne in Hamlet? No, wait. There's no. Go for it. There's no ghost. No, there is a ghost in Hamlet. What am I thinking? I'm gonna have to go with Daphne? Daphne, Ophelia, what's the diff? Hey, there we go. That was the only one I wasn't sure about. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. How about it? Hit me with a category. Rip Van Winkler. Nothing six. rhymes with Winkler. The category Oh, that was is terrible. I'm glad Van I talked Winkler. over that. It's gonna be worth $4,000. Imagine if Fonzie fell asleep in 1958 and slept for 37 years. Now he wakes up and his whole world has changed. He's in Adam Sandler movies. there's one familiar Chrysler model still in production. Which one is it? Is it the Newport, the Imperial, the 300, or the Chrysler Windsor? Chrysler doesn't make any of these anymore. I, ha- I have no idea which one. Was it the 300? Did the 300 last? I have no idea. Too bad you didn't pick this. The Chrysler Imperial. Did they still make that? I think that stopped. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. I, I didn't expect that. Look, <laughs> why would I do this? The category behind this question is try. looking up your family tree. Hello, this one's going to be worth $6,000. Oh, Get great. ready to buzz, because here it comes. You decide to have a family reunion with your Uncle Austin, Aunt Helena, your cousin Pierre, and your niece Olympia. If your name were Eugene, what would you all have in common? Really? You all have names of 1994 hurricanes. You all have names that are U.S. capitals. You all have names of French origin, or you're all relatives. Uh, that would be Texas, oh, Montana, yeah. uh, Pierre, South Dakota, Olympia. Yeah. Let me guess, for a split second, you thought that the capital of Oregon was Eugene. <laughs> Fuck! Now, the correct answer is... You're all relatives. Yeah, this is what we call a trick question. Fuck, I was overthinking it. Damn you, okay, you tricked me with Oregon. <laughs> Give me the kitty. Song to and damn it, we could we could is, not be relatives. Here, kitty, kitty. And they could we be are blood. talking 4,000 Ow, big my ones. head. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. A lion can be represented many ways on a coat of arms, but it's said to be angriest when it's bouffant, couchant, rampant, or poke with a sharp stick. Wouldn't it be... Ow, my head still hurts oh, from the last one. Couchant? Couch, it means lying down. The lion's like, look, I'm angry, okay? And I need a pillow. Fuck you, cookie. And here's the right answer. Rampant. That's French for reared up. No, rampant means it's How like... How about it? Hit me with the category. Where? Ow, my head still hurts. Someone's caught in my throat. I mean, thing. Here's the category. Something's caught in my throat. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Give me money back. Here's a little tip you can use. It's said that the surest way to tell that a woman is actually a transvestite is to look at the hands in the Adam's apple. Which of the following statements is true about the Adam's apple? It's named after Adam from the Bible. If you cut one open, you'll find seeds. It produces an enzyme called applesauce, or women don't have an Adam's apple. I won't... The fact that they have it there is making me doubt it. Women don't have an Adam's apple, do they? Or is it just like so small you can't see it? You know what you could have picked? You could have picked this. <laughs> it's named after old Adam. Legend has it that the forbidden fruit he ate got lodged in his throat, and apparently old Eve blew off that CPR course. But it was the second... That doesn't make sense. Right, come on, hit me. We need a category. I'll give you presidents. <laughs> We're getting there. I think this is it. This is the Next second to last up, one. Presidents whose parents didn't love them. Which is I'm all of them. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Hang on, you Taft. Because here we go. 
Okay, and which of the following is a U.S. president paired up with a dorky middle name that is not his own? Harry Truman S., Rutherford Hayes, Bertrand, Warren Harding, Gamaliel, or Calvin Coolidge, Wilhelmina? Warren G. Harding, Calvin, Rutherford B. Hayes, Harry S. I think it's Harry S. Truman, but I'm not Should sure. Should have picked this. Calvin Coolidge is the Wilhelmina. I, I don't know where that name came from. Yeah, what the fuck? So it was so weird that I had to go okay, for it. Okay, pick a category. Let's go with three. We'll go with drugs for this. My mind is gone. It has, you don't know Jack has destroyed it. Jack attack time. Soon as you see two words on the screen that go together, buzz in. Two thousand bucks if you're right. Two thousand off if you're wrong. Every time you're wrong. And careful, cause not all matches are equal. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. A drug by any other nickname. Get yourself ready and remember that clue. Prepare for the attack now. Illegal drugs, Mar yeah, illegal drugs. This one I should be able to get. Oh, come on, you said press space. Oh, shit. I need to buzz in normally. There we go. Uh, those space bar to, uh, to skip. There we go. Apparently I know my drugs. Nancy Reagan. Not Poppy's Blow. Boom. Wasn't that the name of a movie too? Alcohol wasted. Nancy Reagan. Not Poppers. Drugs. Out of it. What, what I what I'm on now? Booze. I don't know where booze comes from as a name. Uh, shit. PCP. Not ecstasy. Wasted. Shrooms. Eight. Angel dust, there we go. I'm a little slow on that one, apparently. Coffee. Chunky frying pan? <laughs> Java. Nobody calls it that anymore, though. That's old school. Heroin. Um, shit. What, what's the nickname? Smack, there we go. Perfect, that's... that's I'll take it in a check. Well, you kick butt. No two ways about it. Of course, it's not like you had any competition to make it a real challenge or anything. Fuck but, you. No, that's not the point. The point is, you don't know Jack. And that's the game. Hey, great show, everyone. Really, really, really great. Yeah, that was okay. awesome. Test test that's What's smart. the plan? All right, right. if you want to play again, you just got to let me know whenever you're ready, okay? And now we have the option I'm of satisfied with the emperor's breakfast cereal. It is so cold and impersonal. What the fuck? Wow! <laughs> oh shit! Bring before I fully Jack lose my ready? mind, this Jack game is throwing me for a loop, and the alcohol is not helping. Jack that is going to do it for these parts of that cereal. It is delicious. It makes Baller do does trivia while Chocolate. drunk, which is never a good idea. World. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laugh. Hope you learn. Hope to see you next time. Ready. I'm gonna go lie down. Thanks for watching!